Jamaica Defence Force, as part of the Joint Security Force Apparatus, supports the recommendation for the declaration of the states of public emergency across the parishes of West Mullen, Hanover, St. James, Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston, and sections of St. Andrew. Through our analysis and intelligence gathering, we continue to recognize the influence of gangs as a primary contributor to violence with illegal weapons and ammunition and their criminal and violent actions continue to be fueled by the ill-gotten gains of extortion, contract killings, lottery scamming, and other forms of criminality. These gangs are continuously engaged in intense intra- and inter-gang conflicts, which are a leading cause of high levels of murders and shootings across the country. These gangsters are determined to destroy your country and potential for growth and development. Following the Prime Minister's decision to accept the recommendation for imposition of states of public emergency, it's my duty to inform you that the areas under the state of public emergency shall consist of the entire area of land comprising the parishes of Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James, Clarendon, and St. Catherine within the established parish boundaries, as well as all the police divisions in Kingston and St. Andrew, except for St. Andrew Central and St. Andrew North. The borders for all the states of public emergencies have been published and can be seen on the screen. As always, we acknowledge that persons may be concerned about the implications of internal security operations under the state of public emergency. The law-abiding citizens need not fear the security forces. This SOE is for you. It will ease the burden of criminality in your community. Further, we want to assure citizens that both the JDF and the JCF are adequately trained and oriented to protect the human rights of all Jamaicans. Citizens will encounter various increased operational activities, including but not limited to vehicle checkpoints, mobile patrols, and curfews. These operational activities are not aimed at inconveniencing you, but rather to assist in ridding your communities of criminal elements. Therefore, we ask you, those who live and work in the areas or travel through them, to be mindful and cooperative with the members of the security forces on the ground. I take this time to also ask all citizens, not just those who live in the areas under the now declared SOE, to see these enhanced security measures as an opportunity to join the fight. Guns, gunmen, and gangs are eroding peace in the society, and the fight against criminality should not solely be left to the security forces, but rather a unified effort. You are in the communities, you are witnessing the occurrences, and only through your support will you be, we be able to arrest the situation. Only when citizens share the information and fully participate can we curb the violence in our nation. You can do so by using the JDF tip line at 876-837-8888 or the JCF tip line at 311. In closing, let me affirm that the JDF is committed to its support to the JCF in securing and safeguarding Jamaica.